At this stage, everything has been configured for our solution. So for testing, let's confirm that we can access the main SSL VPN portal page and log in using our corporate account. Now doing this will confirm that user authentication also works. So let's open up a new tab and we're going to do HTTPS and followed by either the WAN IP of our firewall or a FQDN that is mapped to that IP. And I have an entry for that called dev.routehub.local. And we're connected, but because we're using a self-signed certificate, we need to make a security exception. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, perfect. So we get to the login page to put our username and password. Then we can log in or we can launch the Forty client if that is installed. But let's go ahead and log in with my corporate account and my provided password. Great, and we are in. So let's discuss what we see here. And a lot of it is based on the options that we specified in the portal page and also on the settings. So up here shows the amount of time that we are connected or logged in for, followed by the amount of traffic that is being uploaded or downloaded. And so far there's nothing because we haven't done nothing yet. Over here shows our account name that we use to log in and also where we can log out. Then we get to the actual message that says Rod Hub Portal. That is what we specify for that header. Plus, since we have enabled tunnel mode and also specify the download link, which is a direct download, we can launch 40 client from here if it is installed on the system. But it will also provide the download links for us to download the 40 client to base on the supported operating system. After that, we see three bookmarks that we manually added or predefined bookmarks. One is to the web server. One is doing an SSA session to the web server. And then, of course, we have doing an RDP session to the user computer. Another option is the quick connection. And this will launch the connection launcher where we can access other web servers or SSH or RDP to other systems that aren't predefined bookmarks. And that's where we can do that. Or we can add our own personal bookmarks here as well. And lastly, you see a history of when we logged in and how long and the amount of traffic in and out. Okay, so let's continue our testing. And for the bookmarks, let's confirm that we can access the server for HTTP. So we'll click on that bookmark for that. And perfect, this is the default page for that web server. And let's go back and let's attempt to SSH to that server based on what we set up. And perfect, so we can put in the correct username and password, go ahead and do that. And now we are in that server for SSH where we can perform other administration on that server. So, so far, so good. Now for the other link here, let's try to access the user computer for RDP access. And perfect, so now you see that it is working. It's gonna log us in automatically based on the credentials in that bookmark. And there we are, we're logged on to our system through the web interface of our portal. So fantastic. So everything's working in regards to that.